Hey guys, welcome to Becky's Garden Paradise. So today is Friday and we have been getting rain every day. It's been overcast most of the day and we've get, been getting rain um, every day over at least the last week. So I wanted to show you how rain can make your garden go cra grow crazy, I should say. So plants love the rain. Think about how fast the rain makes your grass grow. It has a similar effect in your garden. So I'm going to take you around. I know that behind me I have some tomato plants that need to be tied up um, and then I'm just going to be checking on things. I haven't started getting any ripe tomatoes yet so I'm keeping an eye out for those. Um, it takes patience because the tomatoes usually take a little while to reach their full size and then you know once the first tomatoes start to ripen then the others will follow pretty quickly after that. There are a lot of people in my area that planted their tomatoes a little bit earlier than me and have been getting uh, tomatoes to harvest. So I'm patiently waiting on mine. I have big plans for my tomatoes. I'm hoping I get enough to make a couple batches of homemade salsa to can. And then we'll see. I still have three transplants of the Rutgers that I need to put in. But this morning I have my jute and scissors and I'm gonna go with the row that is right behind me uh, to my right and um, tie those up. I'm using the Florida weave method to tie those tomatoes up and then to my left I have um, a garden fence that I'm gonna tie the tomatoes up to there. You can see a zucchini in the background, okra in the background doing good. I still have some zucchini and yellow squash on, um, on the other side of the garden that's doing well. Peppers are loaded, um, so I have peppers actually big enough to harvest. I'm just keeping them on the plants because I still have peppers that I picked from before that I need to use. I froze two freezer bags of cubanelle peppers last week, well last weekend, I think Sunday to be exact. Um, so. I'm probably going to end up doing another batch of either pickled sweet peppers or I might just uh, freeze these as well. So one or the other, either pickled sweet peppers or some more frozen peppers to use later on. Um, once the tomatoes come in, I will be using some of the frozen peppers, the frozen and diced, to make homemade salsa. Along with the plants growing crazy, we also have grass and weeds coming in that I need to pull and get rid of. Still have marigolds blooming beautifully. These are volunteers that are growing right where they um, started. And then I transplanted all the other marigolds that I have throughout my garden from this patch that was right here. So you can see marigolds. That crate, uh, milk crate, is my garden seat. I sit out here and drink coffee, and sometimes I sit on it when I'm talking to you guys. So these are the okra transplants that are doing good. I went and saw Mr. Lewis, the local farmer that I know. Spent some time with him on Father's Day. And he actually let me harvest the okra off of his plants uh, that he has in containers. But he also has a, a few rows of okra as well. So I still have that okra that I need to cook that I harvested from him. Meanwhile, these are uh, getting closer to blooming. These are transplants that he gave me. This zucchini over here has grown a lot since we've been getting so much rain. But look at the okra. The okra leaves bigger than my hand. And I see some flowers in there. I'm going to have to get in there and look around see if there are any zucchini hiding couple more okra plants again these are transplants I thought this one was cool because when I transplanted it in it was one stem but it quickly sprouted a second stem so it's bushing out a little bit this is let's see if you can see it on the camera but right there is a bud a okra bud so it's gonna bloom and then once the flower gets pollinated it'll start growing an okra pod 
The okra flowers are really, really pretty. This is a tomato that's looking kind of sad. I'm going to stake it up, tie it up, and cut some of the yucky leaves off the bottom. Make it feel better. And then this is my cucumber. This is one cucumber plant taken off. I was pretty sure that it was going to die because it had some leaves that all of a sudden wilted and are dying off. But the plant is still blooming. And these, you know, leaves are also bigger than my hand. So it's still blooming. So I have faith in it. This is this vine over here that's growing up and growing onto the path on the other side is all one plant. I think that this is a pickling cucumber. So there have been, you can see some of the dead leaves in there. There have been some female flowers like this right here with the baby cucumber on it that didn't get pollinated. So hopefully the bees come around and do their job. I'm just looking around in there, sometimes cucumbers will hide from you. I'm going to double check again after I'm done filming. So here's some tomatoes that are growing nicely up the mount here. Seeing what I have to harvest, I got a few peppers and green beans, but as you can see, this row <laughs> is a wild tomato and cucumber jungle. The next row over is a tomato and squash jungle. Can't even walk through because of the squash and zucchini plants but I'm gonna try to tie these tomatoes up and uh, I wanted to show you that I did have finally thank God some cucumbers growing so there is one down there I pushed it out from under the fence so that as it gets bigger the fence won't cut into it and then I was checking around just looking under the leaves this thing is wild. It's like, you know, the vines have rooted in the ground along the fence, which is good so that if one part of the plant gets sick, it can get water and stuff from other areas. But I was moving the leaves and down there, uh, you can see like right there is another cucumber. So that's two, and again, I'm not sure which cucumbers these are. I don't know if it was Space Master, which this isn't really mastering the space because it's growing all over, but it looks like it's a slicing cucumber. Pickling or slicing one. It's not the lemon cucumber that I was trying this year, but you can see there are tons of leaf, uh, flowers in there, and I'm just moving the leaves aside to see if I find any more cucumbers. I'm gonna give those another day or so, but uh, I do need to get out here and tie the tomatoes up. You can see tomatoes growing in different places and try to get some of the stuff on the bottom pruned. Like there are some leaves in there that aren't looking too good. I have sweet potato vines in the mix. So the jungle is growing wild. I'll show you the pepper plants as well. They have different peppers. So these are bell peppers. You can see that good one right in there. That's big enough to harvest. I just don't need it quite yet. I have a few peppers in the house. So I'm just leaving it on the bush. It's fine. If anything, it'll ripen and turn red or whatever color before I pick it, that's fine. I just have enough in the house for right now. I think that uh, if I wanted to, I could can some. This one over here is loaded. There are like four peppers on it that I can see. This one has plenty on there. That has like four, at least four plus, it's still blooming under there. And that's how all the peppers are looking right now. These are sweet potatoes, slips, that I transplanted into these fabric pots. I gotta step over the wild jungle right here where I have a tomato growing off to the side. Brooklyn, uh-uh. Dog digging a hole in the garden. 
Uh-uh, I'm going to have to come out here and cover that back up. And I told you guys how when I grew tomatillos in the past, that they started blooming early on, but they didn't um, really start producing any fruit until later in the season. So here we are at the end of June, and it's still covered in flowers. And you can see these things really branch out. They grow low, and they branch out versus tomato plants that will grow tall and I'm out here at like two o'clock almost two o'clock midday um, but when I came out here and checked today I'm finally starting to see the baby tomatillos growing so you know these are the the flowers and they really open up to get pollinated and then when they get pollinated they start growing these little sacks or husk where the tomatillos grow. So there are a couple there. But let's see. I saw some kind of middle size tomatillos down here. So the sack will feel hollow because it's just a baby tomatillo. It'll keep growing so it gets bigger like that. Then it gets bigger, keeps getting bigger. And then you have one way over here by the fence. That's the biggest one I've seen. And you know they're ready when that husk is full and especially when the husk splits. And if you don't pick it when they get ripe, they'll fall off the plant and be on the ground. Similar to ground cherries. Look at my dog. Crazy dog climbing over my sweet potatoes. I just wanted to show you guys how well the tomatillos are doing along with everything else. All right, so the last couple of clips I took over a few days um, to give you an update on how crazy everything's growing in the garden with all the rain that we've had and, uh, you know, have some maintenance to do with tying things up, pruning plants, and I'm either going to prune or pull uh, the last of the zucchini plants because I see some powdery mildew on them and I'll just free up space for something else to go in probably some flowers that I wanted to um, share that with you I've been busy canning a lot I got tomatoes from friends so some red tomatoes and then also a good amount of lemon boy tomatoes so I already made canned a whole case of mango tomato salsa that um, looks really good I got the recipe from homestead heart on YouTube you can look her up and her mango tomato salsa recipe and yesterday I canned 10 cans of stewed tomatoes Italian well not stewed diced Italian diced tomatoes um, most of them were red diced tomatoes but I did a few jars of the yellow boy sliced or diced tomatoes sorry um, that looked really cool when I cut them up it looked like um, I was cutting up what I say pineapple but it was you know tomato lemon boy tomatoes and then I have some more tomatoes left that I got from friends that um, I'm gonna use to make a batch of salsa and that's just the generic mrs. wages salsa and um, my tomatoes that I'm growing, I have plenty of green ones on the plants, but they haven't started ripening. Most people have had ripe tomatoes for a while, but uh, mine are taking their time. I might have planted them a little bit later than some other people. And um, I know that last year it was around 4th of July when my plants started ripening, so it looks like it's going to be that way again this year which is fine with me I'm patient and I'm you know enjoying the having friends share their surplus tomatoes with me so I hope you've enjoyed this update and I hope that you find joy in the garden and I will see you again soon